Hello my friends, welcome to Trading BKS. Before we start the show, remember to subscribe, like, share and comment. Okay, your comment is very important because we are all sharing information here. And before we start, of course, we have to take a look at the disclaimer first. Disclaimer. Be advised that I'm not a professional trader or advisor. I am sharing my trading journey for entertainment purpose only. Any opinions, news, research, analysis, price, or other information contained in this video is my own opinion and does not constitute investment advice. I will not accept liability for any loss or damage, including without limitation to any loss of profit, money, asset, or any valuables which may arise directly or indirectly from use of information in this video. Trading foreign exchange indexes, stock market, futures, commodities, energy, precious metal, etc. carry a high level of risk and please trade on your own research and assessment. Please seek advice from a professional financial advisor for your trading needs. Okay, let's check out uh, let's check out the weekly weekly chart first. So let's see what the weekly chart is telling us. Weekly chart is telling us what we get here. Oh, a bearish candle. This is a, what we call it a tail bar, right? So this sentiment brought by this candle actually is a bit is negative one. Huh? So it's the more likelihood to go down than uh, going up. Okay, the likelihood is going down than going up. Okay, so uh, weekly is uh, slightly bearish. So we look at the daily. Remember these two days I talk about the daily sentiment, right? The daily candle. Uh, what is the most important thing to watch out is this one divergence okay bearish divergence okay so this one the price is making higher high other side making lower high so there's a possibility of a correction drop so i this this therefore i don't think this line can hold anymore i think there will be a correction most likely the correction will go deeper towards 1546 uh even to 1525 okay i think it will go deeper to 1525 oh, after such a big push i don't think i don't think right we will have a, such a short correct such a small correction such a small correction uh, of this. Uh, let me let me check out the. Let me take out the fib. Okay, this uh thirty thirty eight point two percent correction is around here one five two five. So we expect it at least to correct at least thirty, at least thirty. Thirty eight point two percent. Okay, at least thirty eight point two percent retracement possible before a rebound so this one uh, uh, is uh, likely to happen so uh, so therefore right as I said short term you're holding those short term stock uh, touch and go stock you have to be careful if it goes the other way around right if you start to drop start to lose money cut or oh, I will do that I will only hold those uh, longer term mid term stock I will hold or oh, finance stock uh, good uh, good industry stock and those are recovery stock okay recovery stock means those are Long those midterm um recovery stock that I will hold uh, those are consumer stock uh, recovery consumer stock I will hold so other touch and go short term energy foundation matter all this is if it if it goes the other way around I will cut uh, if it goes the other way around drop two three percent starting to lose money I will cut because now I think if you if we are having at a correction so the touch and go one have to be careful long term I think should still okay uh, midterm one still okay I will still keep. Or even those uh, after it drop right like those bank stock probably I will even add after it become cheaper uh, okay let's look at the, all the other index look look at the global index look at aluminium aluminium still going up slowly still strong okay it's price is still going up uh, okay so aluminium still okay no problem Nasdaq uh, look at technology next 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 remember we have a drop over here now we got some support but RSI already go through 50 so this is already in the bearish sentiment so this one uh, is uh, for me right I think that the next tech maybe it will not be will not have a big drop anymore but it will slowly I think it will drop semiconductor index okay semiconductor index yesterday got a push up uh. okay so yesterday not bad got some push up so it's still holding at 50% here so most likely if you haven't run if you haven't uh a lot of guys ask me right some of you ask me right whether uh, you didn't cut loss when i make the video over here a few days back right i think four four five days back right 
the run video, run video, where's the run video? This one, right? Run, right? Tech stock, tech big drop, right? Four days back. So if you didn't cut, okay? Look at the this semi, semiconductor index got a small rebound over here. Look at NASDAQ got a small rebound. Probably next week, there is a, probably there is a small rebound, okay? Uh, if the rebound, if you think uh, uh, your, your risk already dropped, uh, not your risk, your, your this uh, uh, losses, right? Maybe you can recover some of your losses. Maybe you might want to want to want to uh, sell but it's all up to you as I said you want to for the sentiment how to play how how is my view how is my long-term strategy on a uh, technology stock look at yesterday video morning and a uh, morning video and evening video both the whole video I talk about technology okay you want to know what a sentiment what are my strategy how I want to deal with this technology stock you look at here uh, today I want to don't want to repeat again what I talked about yesterday I talked about quite a lot the full day, la, more afternoon and night also, I talk mostly about technology, so you better look at that, that one. La. Okay, so uh, technology so far, got some rebound over here. Look at steel. Okay, steel is going up quite strong. La. Okay, steel is still going up strong, strong, so steel stock, if you are still holding it, I think a correction is coming because price already reached this area. Okay, price already reached this area. I think that, that there is a small correction over here. It will drop first before it goes up. Uh. And uh, some of KLCI is dropping, so uh, for KLCI, if the steel stock, okay, starting to drop, right, in Malaysia, okay, probably I will still sell first, because uh, those are short-term touch and go, I might want to sell. Uh, look at SME. SME, uh, force break, went above, then come back down, not good. This, uh, this is the uh, uh, metal, metal and mining ETF. Huh? So, uh, look at oil. Oh, oil, oil still going up very strong. Okay, crude oil still going up very strong. Crude oil 84 is very good, but now it's at resistance, previous, previous high. Okay, so we have to watch what happened. If it can go through previous high, continue to go up, then you can, you can continue to hold, uh, hold uh, uh, this uh, oil stock. Uh, okay, if it cannot go through, it come back down, then KLCI also coming back down, maybe. Okay, we want to, if the oil stock starting to drop, starting to drop, right, Malaysia one, so maybe we want to cut loss already. Okay, see this one, 84, now it's holding at 84, 39, see whether it can go through 84, 85, 86 or not. If it can go through, I think the oil stock, no problem, can hold. If it cannot go through, come back down, maybe, uh, maybe you want to cut loss. Uh, if, the, if the oil stock starting to drop in Malaysia, maybe you want to cut. Watch the oil stock, watch the oil price closely. Uh, 84 is okay. Or if it's still around here, 84 still around here, still okay. Okay, if it's starting to drop, then maybe you want to watch out your uh, this uh, oil stock. Okay, look at China Metal, Steel Home, so Steel Home, this uh, China Steel Price Index is still sideways, nothing much. Look at this uh, Industry Metal, China Industry Metal, still slowly sideways, yeah, nothing much, it's not going up, not going down, also not too bad. But this one is quite strong, okay, this one is quite strong, uh, the industry, uh, this, uh, this uh, Steel Index is quite strong, uh, still okay, uh, still can hold, uh, unless... Yeah, Malaysia now is very bad. Malaysia video dressing most likely finished already. So a lot of stuff will drop. Uh, probably a lot of industry also will drop. I think probably all industry will drop. So uh, all, all sector will drop. So uh, possible if you start to lose money, man, uh, better throw it first. Uh, okay. Do short term, man, uh, not for long term. Man, okay. So look, let's look at. Uh, remember, want to buy me coffee, go to uh, tradingwithks, coffee.com, tradingwithks. Uh, and okay, let's look at the sector index. See which sector. Remember, we want to look at the big picture. Uh, we want to see which sector is doing well, not well. Consumer, or oh, this one looks bad. Price go, price uh, beginning to make higher high now, starting to drop. If we got, uh, you see, right, we got uh, this area, right, very important support resistance area. You need to go through. It did went through, but now it come back down. This is a false break. Looks like this is not so good. Okay, so in, next week, Monday, Tuesday, you see, you see the... Consumer index is green, means it, it, it's starting to go up again, means it's okay. Can hold, I should be okay. You know? But it's starting to red again, right? Monday, Tuesday, red again means coming back down. Okay, means uh, this one, uh, it's a false break here, means the consumer uh, will continue to drop. But looking at, at today, this price action, right? I'm 50-50, but slightly bearish, slightly uh, negative, okay? Technology, no need to say. Yesterday, I really talked about the whole thing. I talked about, I explained about this technology sector, everything. So look at yesterday video, two video, morning and evening, also almost talking about the same thing. Uh, 
So uh, better look at yesterday video. I don't want to repeat this, uh, but this was negative. Uh, if you want to see the sentiment, definitely negative sentiment. Look at plantation. Plantation is stuck here. That's why plantation stock not going up. You see, it's stuck here at this channel top, channel bottom. This line here is stuck here. Okay, it push, push, push many times, cannot go through. If it continue, cannot go through, it will, it will fall down. Uh, hopefully, it will go through next week. Okay, if it goes through, then we, then the consumer stock, then the plantation stock should be okay. If it comes down, should be bad. So this one now is 50-50, wait and see. Okay, Monday, Tuesday, see whether it can go through or not. Healthcare, healthcare cannot. Okay, reverse ready. Healthcare, right? We said that you need to go above here. If you can stay above here, I will pos possible. I am interested. But it cannot, it do a bearish engulfing candle, so price is slowly going back down. Looks like this one, another uh, another, another average down fail. Uh, so that's why I don't do average down, average down, average down. This one post suddenly another average down fail, it will continue to drop again. So uh, this one, uh, so don't play this one, don't simply play average down. Except the company is making tons of money, their profit is still going up. The price, the price of the company keep on dropping, but the company revenue and P&L still going up, uh, then maybe you can average down. Or because that's due to manipulation. This is not actually manipulation. This is actually the fundamental drop. Uh, I also explained this uh, yesterday video. Look at yesterday video. I explained uh, quite a lot about techni technology stock and the growth stock. Why I don't buy the growth stock, right? So you look check out the yesterday industry. Industry very important. Uh, industry. So we are bullish on industry. Uh, industry correction already. After such a big run, right? You see, ah. Uh, you got a pin bar over here, okay? A pin bar over this area. A pin bar at 206. Now we got a bearish engulfing candle. Looks like it's correcting. It's, it, it will come down, okay? Uptrend is still intact. You see the uptrend, right? Uptrend is still intact. But there will be a correction for now, okay? There will be a correction coming back to this area. 196, uh, I think probably this area. Yeah. It will come back to 200, 196 to 200 area before it goes up or it goes down. So now, right, industry stock also, if it hit cut loss, I, 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 I might probably run, okay? Those are very strong, still making money one, still hold. If those really start to reverse one, maybe you want to cut first, huh? because, because local market is not so good, huh? okay? Local market is not so good, okay, industry. Uh, hopefully, this one can hold. 200 can hold, hopefully. 200 can hold, I think still very strong, can go up. If 200 cannot hold, come back to 196, then there will be a... Means it's the, act that the sector is weaker. Uh, so this sector, uh, compared to finance, I'm more positive on finance. Finance is my number one sector. This is number two, maybe a consumer number three. For now, uh, for now, it will change on, uh, for now. Logistic. Okay, logistic also going down. You see big bearish engulfing candle, a uh, pin bar over here, bearish pin bar, bearish engulfing. So this one really telling us it's going down some more. Okay, so this one is negative. Uh, uh, all is negative, negative, negative. Uh, just now, except who? Consumer is negative. So all sector is negative. Huh? Okay, there's not a positive. We haven't seen a positive sector yet. Let's say C finance. Yeah, okay, finance is positive. Finance is going up higher and higher and higher. Okay, so looks like I want to correct already overbought already. Maybe a uh, drop first. Okay, industry also. Industry also is positive, but there will be a correction. This one most likely there will be a correction also. Okay, there will be a correction down before it goes up again. So the correction down is opportunity for me, right? I will add, add opportunity to add. Where else this uh? Uh, this uh, industry, I'm not that confident yet. Okay, I'm confident but not as confident as this one. Okay, industry will add or not? No. This one I will add. Industry, take profit. Uh, those already hit target, take profit. Those already start to lose. Those already hit stop loss, cut. Okay, so uh, this is the way. So industry is still, uh, still okay, la, not too bad. La. You see industry is still on the uptrend. Strong uptrend, correction coming. Uh, this one also. Finance also still uptrend, correction coming. So uh, look at uh, telecom. Okay, telecom. Um, RSI above 50. So telecom is holding sideways. Uh, not too bad. Uh, but 50-50, uh, I, like I put it. Telecom, I'm not very interested. Look at small cap. Okay, small cap is dropping. Uh. Small cap got resistance. You see our trend line. We draw this trend a long time ago. Right? You see it hit the top channel now coming back down. So... Small cap also dropping, not so good. 
RSI also below 50 already. Property. Property, you know, uh, property, you see, I draw this very important resistance line long time ago, right? You see, now it hit the line, what happened? Come back down. Okay, so this is bearish. This is uh, negative construction. Okay, construction, we got resistance line over here, so coming back down, also negative. Negative. Uh, so next week, nothing much to play, uh, huh? just tell you uh, in front energy. Okay, energy is still okay. Energy a bit oversold. There's a problem here. Okay, overbought. Overbought. So overbought, there's will be a correction here, but already breakthrough. Okay, already breakthrough. So this one, maybe we have a drop first before it goes up. Maybe have a small drop before it goes up. So this one is still okay for me. This one is still okay. Energy is still okay. Plantation 50-50, this one still okay. Uh, Finance still, finance still strong, maybe a correction coming. Uh, industry still strong, maybe a correction coming. Other is all negative. Huh? Okay, so that's it for today. Don't forget, we just tomorrow we talk about quite a lot of things. Huh? We talk about the bank, we talk about the view. In technology, I already explained a lot uh, yesterday. Uh, so I will not touch about technology a lot so tomorrow. Talk about the bank, uh, talk about consumer. Okay, Genting. So we'll. What happened to Genting? Genting, there are some drop this few days, right? A lot of you guys may be worried. Maybe we will take a look at Genting and some other consumer stock. Okay, so that's it uh, for today. So don't forget, look at tomorrow one. Tomorrow one, we maybe want to look at the recovery stock. Like this year is year year of recovery stock, uh, most likely. Uh, also, some of you also talk this year could be a, a re, uh, the year for recovery stock. Uh, just now, I saw Joa also mentioned this year could be the year for recovery stock. Okay, so. That's it for today. See you to, uh, tomorrow. Bye-bye.